Okay, hello, welcome to the webinar. I am April McMurtry, the developer of the Learn Reading Academy, and you are probably somebody who has either struggled with reading yourself or you have somebody that you care about, maybe a child or a student who struggles with reading and you are not sure why nor how to help them. And maybe something in the name of this webinar attracted your attention. And I want you to know that this is going to be time well spent. I'm really glad you're here because I have some really exciting things to share with you. Okay, so let's dive into the slides. So three reading tips that can change everything and I am not kidding, these are real game changers. I've been teaching reading um, for over 25 years and in that time I have learned and tried a lot of different things and I have come to learn what works and what doesn't work when teaching struggling readers. Um, just a little bit about myself, first of all. So I have been a professional educator for over 25 years. I have a degree in education with a special emphasis in reading and language arts. Um, I'm a teacher, a reading specialist, a dyslexia specialist, which is what I am currently doing, at, as well as a dyslexia testing specialist. I'm also a, an Erlen syndrome screener, an in-service trainer in reading disabilities, and a community presenter in teaching reading, especially those who struggle. Okay, so today we're going to get right into it. I'm going to be sharing with you what I call the McMurtry method, which is exciting. It's a new way to teach or learn reading. And like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. And so for me, 25 years later, to be so excited about something, um, it's it's different, it's unique, it's new, and it works. And I'm so excited to share it with you. So the McMurtry method has three parts. There is the pencil reading, the vowel tap, and the giving of a goal. So I'm going to explain each of these in depth with you so that you can understand how to implement each one yourself. So after this webinar, you or your student will have a game-changing, hopefully even life-changing experience with learning how to read. So number one, pencil reading. So with pencil reading, you will need that controlled text. Oh, let me just describe what that is now and then we'll get more in depth in coming up. So controlled text will not include any words, including sight words that they have not yet learned how to read. So there will not be any reason to guess. Um, the McMurtry method and this controlled text is successful because of the control that it, that it gives the students. So a controlled text book or a controlled text worksheet has only words that contain the letters, which are graphemes, that represent the sounds, which are phonemes that that student has only learned to that point. So there will not be any reason for guessing. And this applies to sight words as well. So to implement pencil reading, you will need that controlled text. You'll need a pencil and then you will need text that can be written on paper, a worksheet or a copied part of that book if that's allowed. Okay, so the steps in pencil reading are step one, with your pencil, you will dot each sound as you come to it in a word while you say the sound of that grapheme. So this does a lot of things in step one. First, it makes it multi-sensory. So they are engaging more senses than just their eyes. So with that hand and that pencil and their eyes and their voice, you are experiencing every single sound in the word with perfect control and clarity. There will be no reason to, they will not be blending the word yet. So there will be no reason to guess. They are simply identifying what the sounds of those, each grapheme is in the word. So by the time they get to the end of the word, they will know that they know 
every sound in that word that there is no reason to guess and that they will be successful when they go to read that word. So step one is to place a dot underneath each grapheme and identify the sound of each grapheme, saying the sound as you write the dot in the word. Step two is to connect the dots. So then they will carefully and slowly connect the dots, saying each sound all in one breath as you go. Now it's important not to let your pencil go ahead of your eyes. So your eyes, your mouth, and your pencil will be moving as a unit, experiencing each sound as you go, all in one breath so that there will not be breaks be between each sound like there was in step one. Now it's also really important that they don't stop that slow and careful blending process before they've come to the end. We want them to blend to the end every single last sound so that there will never be any reason to guess. We want them to be 100% successful. Now, another thing that this accomplishes is it prevents any other letters or sounds from entering into the word without their permission if they do this with control. So as you are blending the sounds carefully, if that student is focusing on what they are doing, they will prevent errors before they occur. Let me see if this is where I want another slide here. Not quite yet. So they will be preventing errors before they occur because there are certain letters such as R, L, and N that really like to sneak into and out of words without permission. So as you are carefully controlling the progress through the word, you are preventing those letters, L, R, and N, and a few others that are tricky, but especially those from slipping into or being omitted from the word. There's something about those three letters that are really difficult to read. And if you experience, um, if you are a struggling reader yourself, or if you are a teacher of reading, and if you are experiencing a reading error, either yourself or watching somebody else read, you will be surprised how many times those errors are involving an L, an N, or an R. So as you are carefully controlling the blending and proceeding through the word, connecting the dots on one breath, you will be preventing those tricky letters or any other letters from slipping into or out of the word or becoming rearranged. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as we come up to, as we progress here. So the benefits of pencil reading are it creates reading it creates a multi-sensory experience as they read. They're engaging more than one sense, and this is especially helpful for dyslexic readers or for any reader, actually. It engages more areas of the brain so that you can focus and become successful and experience accuracy when you're reading. It prevents errors like we talked about because of the control. So the whole thing is called controlled blending. That's what I've kind of called this whole technique is the technique of controlled blending. You are in control of each sound. You are in control of how you pronounce that sound. You are in control of how fast that you proceed through the word. You are in control of the spaces between the letters so that nothing else comes in, nothing else exit. It's very controlled blending. And let me tell you, this pencil reading it sounds simple, but it really works. So I wish I had my student here that I could just, so you could see this in action. I get to see it in action every day. And after having taught reading for so long, and then just having recently discovered pencil reading, and it was after prayer, to tell you the truth. I was, having, I was struggling with a student, praying to know how to help, and I got the idea to put this pencil in their hand and dot those sounds as they went. And 
and a light bulb went off in this student and in all of my students. And now I won't teach reading in any other way because of the difference that I see that it makes. It really works. That pencil can change everything. So I hope that you will trust me in giving it a try. Okay. Now, number two, the Valatap. So this is another really exciting reading hack or reading tip, whatever you want to call it. But these three, three parts that I'm going to give you in the McMurtry method are really game changers. They are just little tips and tricks to make reading so much easier and takes the mystery and guessing out of him out of it. Okay, so tap two, the vowel tap with controlled text, of course. So what the vowel tap is, is when you come to a vowel again with your pencil, because you will be dotting each sound as you progress through the word. When you come to a vowel, your student or you will probably know that vowels can make several different sounds. So before you put a dot underneath that vowel, you have to know what that sound is in order to be accurate and successful. But it doesn't, the world makes this so complicated, but it doesn't have to be so complicated. There's a simple trick. If you come to that vowel and then you tap two, you tap the next two letters. If one of those is another vowel, then the vowel that you're on will likely say it's long sound or its name. And when I'm talking to my little guys, I will explain that if you come to a vowel and you need to know what it says, tap two. And if one of those are another vowel, then you, the vowel that you're on will want to introduce itself and say its name, say, hi, I'm O, and that is the sound that it will make. So when you come to a vowel, before you place a dot underneath of it, tap the next two letters. If either one of those is a vowel, it will probably say its name. Now, there are, I mean, that this is just enlightening. Can we just take a minute and enjoy that little piece of information? Because it just makes reading so much easier. Vowels just got so much easier because if you are a struggling reader or if you know a struggling reader, you know the confusion that vowels can make. And this takes the mystery out of confusion, out of the vowels and it makes reading so much easier. And there's other tricks and tips to the vowel tap as well. And those are all taught in the Learn Reading Master Course. So, we're in reading. The academy that I have developed has three courses. The reading intensive workshop, which is designed for adults, particularly it's a two week intensive workshop. And then the master course is a comprehensive curriculum designed for students of all ages. And that comprehensive curriculum is where the other tricks to this vowel tap are explained in detail. But let me give you another example. So the tap two is the one that we're focusing on in this webinar because it's it's pretty generally accurate in most reading situations. But another example would be the long O sound. So the long O can have three times where it will typically say its name. The first time, tap two, like I just explained. And if one of those is another vowel, then it will say its name, just like I was just talking about. The second time, if that next letter, just the very next letter, so tap one, if that very next letter is an L, it will probably say its name. Or the third reason that O will say its long sound is if it's the last letter in a word. So just those three little tricks, which are easy to learn, can open up the reading when it comes to that O in particular, but the whole vowel tap itself will bring a lot of clarity and ease to reading vowels, and they're no longer the enemy. Can I just say again? It's a game changer. It's a game changer. It really, really works. So that's the second part of the McMurtry method or the second hack that I wanted to share with you. 
Now the third one, the third part of the McMurtry method is more for teachers, but if you are an adult student and you are trying to figure this out for yourself, then this is also really information, really useful information for you to have as well. So we talked about those three letters that are really difficult to read, L, N, and R. We talked about how they can sneak into and out of words without the reader even realizing what has happened. And they can slip out of order. And a lot of that has to do with the shape that your mouth was in when it read the sound before it. And it takes a lot of control to only blend the graphemes that you come to without these letters coming in or exiting the word. So the give a goal part of the, of the McMurtry method is where you give them instructional correction. So if they do make an error when they're, when they're blending or when they're reading, don't tell them the word, tell them the error. So if they are reading a word and they read the, the word back instead of black, then you would say, there is an L in that word. Pay attention to where it falls in the word and have control over that. And then they will be watching for where the L is, they will put it in the right spot and then they will probably get the word right. So instead of telling, just telling them what the word is or making them guess because students get frustrated, they get nervous, they just want to read fast and guessing does no good. Teaching a student to guess will make them into good guessers, not good readers. But what we are teaching them to do now, correcting their errors, is reading. That is what teach, will teach them to be a good reader. So you will tell them exactly what they missed, what their error is, and have them focus on that goal that you just gave them when they go and attempt the word again. And this could take you know, a few tries because those letters, they're hard. And now that I've said those three letters and mentioned that those are usually where all the errors lie, you'll probably notice it when you are struggling to read yourself or when you encounter an error in a student, you'll see that it's those three letters most often that are making the, that are creating the problem. So when you are reading or when you are teaching a child to read, if they make an error, tell them what if they made an error, tell them what the error was. Say you left off the very last sound, focused on that sound the next time you, you attempt this word. Or, you know what? There was an N that snuck in when you said it, that snuck in right after that S at the beginning of the word, but there's no N in that word. Try it again with that goal in mind. And then they will, they will, experience reading success that is genuine because they are fixing their own errors and they are capable. They don't need us as much as we think they need us. You tell them what the error is, tell them where it is in the word and let them figure it out and try it again. And then that is when the growth comes. That is when the reading progress occurs. And this is really, really beautiful to watch. It really is. They get excited and you get excited when a word that just previously was difficult, you told them what the error was, then they figured it out without having you tell them and they will have taken control of every letter in that word. They will have taken control of the vowels. They knew how to figure out the vowels in that word. That's exciting and they will take control of their errors and fix them themselves. And this process of controlled blending and this process of discovering that they can read is beautiful. Okay, their confidence will blossom and for good reason. They will be accomplishing, or you might be accomplishing what you thought couldn't have, couldn't be done. There are some readers who really, really struggle, but these three tips or tricks 
they can change everything. They're really game changers. I'm so excited that I am able to share this with more people than just myself. Okay, so their accuracy will improve because of the control that they have over the letters within the word. They will even be getting suffixes correct if it's controlled text, of course. Their comprehension will improve because guessing will be eradicated. It will be prevented. And when you guess, then the words in the passage, um, there's errors. And when errors occur, then meaning is altered and comprehension is difficult. It's hard to understand what you're reading if you're getting half of the words wrong. Their decoding, of course, will improve because so decoding is being able to sound out a word because they will know how to do that. So pencil reading is learning how to actually read. It's not memorizing, it's not guessing, it's not figuring it out from the text or, I mean, from um, content clues or from picture clues. This pencil reading and the the vowel tap and the giving of the goal, it's all, that is how you learn how to read. And then when all those are put together, then fluency occurs. So do you remember when I told you about how important controlled text is? It is really important. So when they are pencil reading, if they are reading just any trade book, it won't work because they will be, there's so many, there's sight words in there and, and sight words and the, and the, the um, proper sound of each letter that those need to be established, especially phonemic awareness, those three things and the ability to, to understand what sight words are and how to read those, those are all, they must be established, and those are all a, a topic for another webinar. Or you can visit my website, learnreading.com, and learn more about those. And those must be established. This is, those are foundational skills that must be established in order for reading to occur. Um, these are just three reading tips that I'm giving you or, or tricks. So if they are attempting these without the controlled text, and they will be encountering some of these words that they haven't learned how to read. And if they come to a word and they're trying to dot the sounds, and one of the sounds is a schwa that they haven't learned how to read yet, and they come to the end of that word, and it doesn't, it doesn't sound like any word that they've ever heard before, then they're going to lose trust in the method and they're gonna start guessing again. So it's important that controlled text is used so that they can only experience success so that they will break the habit of guessing, which is such a bad, it's such a hard habit to break. So um, the Learn Reading Academy is a school, an online school that I have that has three courses that have all controlled text within, within, within them. Um, so the Learn Reading courses, there is the Reading Intensive Workshop, which is the course that I designed just for adults. It's the two week kind of crash course. It's a, um, it's a, it's an intense workshop and it's designed for those who either do not know how to read or do not know how to read well so that they can get those very foundational skills that I was talking about that they may have missed when they were learning how to read. It's a two week kind of crash course to make sure that you can, and you will end up reading after those two weeks, over a hundred words, and you will have the skills to read many more after that. The Learn Reading Master Course is the comprehensive curriculum that teachers, tutors, and parents will use with their students or with their children, or that adults can use with themselves because all of the lessons come in online format with me as your teacher with you just print them as you go and then the how to teach reading courses for anybody who wants to learn how to teach reading better so all of these courses use controlled text and the learn reading academy is very different these courses are extremely different than any other curriculum that you've ever encountered because of the mcmurtry method and a lot of other things but mostly 
it's because the phonemes and graphemes are introduced in frequency order. So I don't teach the letters and the sounds that they make in alphabetical order. I teach them in the order that they appear in everyday real world print, in the order that you will encounter them in the real world. So after 10 lessons, you will know the 10 most common letters that are going to appear in, in everyday print. After 20 lessons, you'll know the 20 most common and, and they get, there's 80 lessons total in the master course and there's, cause there's more than just 26 sounds of the alphabet. There's 26 letters, but there's 44 phonemes and there's a lot of different variations of the grapheme and phoneme combinations. So I teach those in frequency order in the order that they appear in text. And all of this is with controlled text so that there is no guessing, there is only success, and there is quick progress. And they will be able to read in the real world quickly because of the frequency order that the curriculum is designed in. So all courses are online. Each lesson is taught by me and comes to you in video format. Um, I introduce each lesson and what you will be learning in that lesson in a video. And then I explain what the assignment is. The, exi the assignments are each uh, on PDF that you can download and print one lesson at a time as you go, as you proceed through the program. And the master course is a subscription that I've tried to keep very affordable. So it's just a monthly subscription. You keep it as long as you need it. Um, and then I also am on video with the answers so that if you are an adult going through yourself, you will know. And if you are a teacher, you, and if you're curious as to what the answers are, you will have access to those answers as well. Um, and there's also lots of games and activities and books, short stories written, especially for the Learn Reading Academy for each lesson in every course so that they will have plenty of practice reading successfully. So if you have any questions, I would love to hear them. And we would love to have you ask your questions in a group called the Learn Reading Community. And it's a group on Facebook where anybody who's interested or is already enrolled in the program will talk about their journey to literacy either with themselves or with their student and this is where you can go and ask questions from anything that i've mentioned about pencil reading about the vowel tap about controlled text about the giving of the goal any questions that you may have had or comments or anything that you want to share with us we would love to hear from you so that link will be here and probably somewhere else too for that community. Or you can just go on learnreading.com and there's a lot of videos and information on there as well. So I hope that those three tricks, those three reading hacks will improve and change your life or somebody's life that you care about. I experience implementing the McMurtry method every day with all of my students. And like I said before, I've been doing this a long time. I taught in the public schools reading classes for a long time. I've had a private practice teaching reading for many, many years. I've been a dyslexia specialist focusing only on dyslexic students for many years. And this, these three tools are what gives my students the most power. And so I hope that they will provide you with the power that you or your student is seeking as well. So thanks for joining me. And hopefully I look forward to seeing you in the group, in the Facebook group or online in one of my courses. But if not, thanks for your interest and thanks for your desire to develop literacy. Now, I also wanted to tell you about a special offer for the launch of the Reading Intensive Workshop. If you happen to enroll during the super early bird period, which is between February 2nd and March 3rd, you will receive 50% off of the cost of that course. If you are an early bird and enroll during March, during the period of March 3rd to April 6th, you will receive 25% off. So I invite you to take advantage of this offer 
and enroll in that course. The launch of the master course is always com also coming up soon, but this reading intensive workshop is about to launch probably now if you're watching this. Now, if you happen to watch this webinar a little late or miss that early bird period, there are always scholarships available for anybody who needs it. The Reading Intensive Workshop course is a buy one, give one course. So every course that is purchased, one will be donated to somebody in need because everybody deserves a chance to learn reading.